it's you know one of the few things we're not taught in school we're not taught in in, in life skills it was like the lid of my life was taken off it became I, like an awakening there's something that changes it's like you can't get enough of it you want more and more as i got into it it just kept pulling me in pulling me in i was able to see the word in a way that i had never seen it before wish i had known you know many many years ago how to replace bad habits with good habits. The thing that I feared the most was the thing that was dissipated because of When you're inspired, it's inside and it lasts. It's, it's like a breath of fresh air. It can be really transformational. I really believe that we're searching for the truth. Uh, a lot of times we're just not taught how or where to look. How to understand who I really am inside. Because all of the things that you desire can come true. If you just become a different person. Things just come to you that uh, fit your, your true inner self. We become better people and create a better future. And, that's and then you really discover who you are. You do get to connect with your own true self. Who I am and what I want. He got to my emotions because this guy was talking, was speaking from his heart and he affected me, his belief. I'm like, you can feel this guy's belief. You can feel his emotion. You can it's just it's been an amazing experience. There is nothing like it out there. But it really shows to you how serving people by being who you really are with your own gifts is really the key to life. Who is the greatest person in the world? How about we find out? people don't really know what their purpose is or they don't even know what they're doing or they don't really have any clear destination or goal. I had uh, developed a pretty negative attitude towards a lot of people. I wanted to be happier with myself. It was a start with my childhood which was not very good. I just was um, emotionally a mess. Are you happy with the life you have? because that inner world is a reflection of the outer world. So if something's going on in your world, you need to really stop and listen. It's that voice inside of you that, that's telling you that, you know, I knew I was searching for something, but I just didn't know what. I, I've, I've known for years, I've just felt something inside that there was more to life. I feel like I've always maybe been searching for something I've done lots of things in the past and never really focused on me. And I knew that um, uh, that I was frustrated. Um, I was feeling more and more like I was missing something. To us is that over the course of time, we lose who we truly are. We, we start school, girls dress this way, boys dress this way, and then we go for it. You gotta have the ideal job, and before you know it. We're following what other people think we should be. And over the course of time, we begin to believe that. And while obedience and cooperation are important when you live in a culture, um, you also need to think for yourself. We're all creatures of habits, whether we know it or not. We live just kind of doing things that we're in a habit of doing. What I have outside is what I projected from the inside. So you have to change the inside. So what we really wanted to create was an environment where people could alter their subconscious mind in a healthy way. You know what, what is life if you're not growing? 
discovery of something less than 5% of the people on the planet ever discover that this mechanism between your ears is perfect. It's the greatest mechanism on the planet and it can create any reality that you want to help you learn how to work that mechanism inside. Most of us are poor operators of this remarkable mechanism. Now, every great inventor, every great explorer, every great artist, everything they've ever created started with one thing, a thought. A thought charged with feeling became a belief, and then they put their thoughts into action and they created something out of nothing, just a thought in their mind. So is it allows someone to discover this remarkable world within. Number one thing all about the Master Key is learning about our thoughts and the kind of thoughts that pop in our minds. We become what we think about. It was almost like the Master Key is the how. You get to be that person you were created to be. You receive from it what you need at the moment. It allows me to become a what we call a self-directed thinker. And doing what makes sense for you. Instead of somebody telling you possibly what they thought you should be. And it's the key to unlock my bliss, what I want in my life. And that's really what happens for people in the Master Keys is they find their special purpose. And, and to help them make that plan so that they can achieve it. We, we learn the skills, we learn the habits, so that we can start controlling our minds. Integrate all of these things and you really get to know yourself. So that I can build the life that I really want to live. So I call it self-renovation. To focus on what's really important in your life and what you want to achieve. It's a holistic self-help course where you get help to improve in all parts of your life. First of all, I would say I got new, really positive habits from it. In addition to that, you also get help in ways that I never experienced in any other course in my life. You actually are partnered up with a guide and a tribe or a group of people. Somebody that has your best interest in mind. I don't think you get that kind of one-on-one -on -one, uh, help. Or I've certainly not seen it on any of the other courses I've done. So. I mean, the course is so rich. The content is just phenomenally rich. Anyone that has done any self-development has spent quite a large amount of money. The amount of sharing that happens and the amount of sharing of information and knowledge in the group is just phenomenal. They have a program laid out of the exercises that we do, but as far as what we think about them, that's totally up to us. It truly is what you want, not what society or your friends or family have told you what you want. Everybody's in it to support each other and their dreams, not judging, no judging of dreams. To help make you become a better person. It's a self-discovery because it, it doesn't stop. When you're out adventuring, it doesn't stop. But it's not a course you do over the weekend or even over a month. But it's a way of being, it's a way of life. It's really something for the rest of your life. It gives you uh, support skills that, that just stay with you. Absolutely. When we realize that we really have nothing to fear, that moving forward is the key, not waiting for what we think might be the perfect circumstances. And that pathway of personal discovery and realizing what that thing is that lights your fire and your creative abilities, it changes everything. So the master key taught me that I have that power to groom my thoughts so I can do anything that I set my mind to. It's all about relationships. But it really starts with us. Because if we're not truthful to ourselves, how can we be truthful to others? And we know the answer. We know the truth. Hey, do you want to know who the greatest person in the world is? I know. Come and find out.